What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And welcome. I've been here for a couple of days. About to also take another trip up to New York City. Drop my uh, friend from Russia off. She is leaving, going home. It's been a great three or four months uh, having her here. Um, learned a whole lot about Russia and just uh, where she is up in the Cabardian. Uh, she's in the Caucasus Mountains. And... Today, this is going to be a short one. This is just one that somebody sent me, my buddy. I think it was, who was it? Jim. Jim White sent me this over when he said double chevron on rock. And he's talking about this rock right here. And when I got this thing up, I, I've noticed this with the saws. This is getting worse and worse with the blinds effect. So I wanted to point this out just to people who are new to the channel or haven't seen some of the old videos. How NASA does this and, and basically hide some pretty good stuff from us too like i said there doesn't look like there's all that much amazing stuff in this picture and there's not a lot of you know killer anomalies but uh this is the enhanced you can see the blinds when i call them blinds they go like this they're blinds effects and they look like they've been pasted and copied into the pictures uh, as a layer or something like that or and usually when there's only long vertical so you know long vertical uh are long horizontal or long vertical you'll get these so it, it like it almost like a computer program looking for it i really think this is done at the uh at the level somewhere with software that does it um or maybe not you know it's another form of blurring where you don't get that actual blur block and what they seem to be blurring out is i think the more cooler than this uh chevron looking rock here with the symbol on it you'll see as we as we go through and, and change some of the stuff that, that's there, but the uh, this looks more like a habitat. It's funny the the my friend uh, Christina, she's rushed from the Russian, she ne from Russia. She never had any you know say on any. She never really commented on anything. But she uh, I had this picture up on my computer the other day, and she was like, "Hey, that looks like the habitats that the uh, you know the beavers or something make over up." up in russia or you know whatever it was she was saying the animals make these things or they use them they utilize them and i got to thinking wow well pretty much around there is where you get the most look at these look at these blind marks on here and something's happened to my window let me get this back window workspace um there we go let me get that back so i can have my my tools here but something this is how it comes from NASA. And somebody told me the other day, why you, I just got another one of those, uh, you know, how come you're using, uh, how come you're using Adobe Photoshop to show this? This is probably all added in. And I use the photo, I use Photoshop because it's the industry standard and it's the way easiest to do stuff. Now, if you were just coming to look at this picture, you see this, oh, this is a neat bunch of rocks. Nothing looks like it's been done at all to it. I mean, it looks like a normal picture. Now, granted, I'm on a 27-inch iMac. Let me make that a little bigger. Uh, but it just looks like a normal picture. But when you actually open it up and, and magnify yourself into it and see what's been going on, um, a lot is missing from the picture because of these blinds effects. And this is one of the best examples of them I've seen out there. So here's how it comes from NASA. See, it's got the background shot. Background 2, all I've done was sharpen it a little bit. And you can tell that's all I've done. And when just sharpening it basically brings out these things. I also think this is interesting up here. Because if you look, it's got some interesting things that come over and hang over. See how this is connected up like that. Um, and you're pretty much, and this was with it, I auto-colored it to make it kind of stand out. When you auto-color this stuff, it really looks, let me do it to this layer. It really looks, you can tell the difference. Look at how much they stand out now. Um, but this right here is a sharpen tool, and I wanted to take it just to see. You can't even, you kind of can combat these things, but it's uh, it's very hard to. I mean, once they put these blur, especially are these blind marks in, it cuts up the image, so it's hard to see. Cancel that. So once your eyes, your eyes don't see them when it's back like this. You know, when you're just browsing the website, you know, oh, that's cool. But when you get out really close, that's when you notice, all right, well, what's it hiding? And in the middle here, there's some interesting pieces. This looks like a, let me go back. Let me just do this. Let me get back to where we were. Um, like little pieces along the way here. Up here, this just, like I said, that stood out to me. And really, this is not, I'm not doing this video for the anomalies. I'm doing it just because how much of this stands out now this is a very interesting anomaly here but 
it looks like we can see a lot of it from back here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks great. But really, when you get into it, you're like, well, wow, if there was any, if there was any um, definition to this at all, it's gone. It's long gone. <laughs> it's been taken out. You can still see it's got the, the shape right here, the chevron shapes. Over here, it looks to have something interesting coming out of the side. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys. But it just makes me, it drives me insane to see this. And it's not on every Curiosity River shot. That's another thing that drives me insane. Um, look at it as it comes through here. Especially when you have two lines together. Uh, see here, you got one here and one here, and then then you got the blur effect that runs up the middle. See, this is this is a great example because you don't see these lines over top of the blur effect, but you can see how they run vertical. They're vertical lines, um, and right as you get to there, like you said, they this is more of a blur effect. So they've blurred. Not, so what? Where is being hidden? I would say whatever is being hidden is in this block right here because it, the blur runs all the way there. And there, not as much here, because you can see, you know, I could probably clean this up fairly well. Um, let me see, I'm on this one. But here the blinds going to affect again, and it just messes up that whole that whole piece. But look at that, look at the gold right there, that color that's out. More and more. But right here, see how it's even got, not only did they add the blind, not only is there a blur strip, there's a blinds, and then, there's the uh, the blinds going this way, if you can see them right here. See how it's the darker? Let me go back to one of the, the original. And look how subtle that is. If you were just looking at it normal, you would just think that's part of the picture. And not many people blow these things up. And only because of uh, channels like mine, channels like uh, Chris's, like Santos, like everybody's. I, if I... I Kirsten's, I it's Kirsten, Kirsten, I was like, I want to call you Kirsten, sorry, Kirsty. Um, we are now exposing to stuff, saying, well, why is this stuff on these pictures? How come it's not always there? You know, how come it's only when there's something really interesting we want to look at? You, know, you don't see it throughout the whole picture. Um, look, when you get into here, and look how much this looks like, where, what it does, I think it chops up straight lines so your mind doesn't see the straight lines, or doesn't see the ornate shapes that go along with it. Um, this would be fairly, fairly, I mean, look, it goes up and around, up and around. This would be a very interesting rock formation to look at, but no, even geologists are not going to be able to see that. You know, they're hiding it from everybody. And whether, like I said, I think it's being done by a computer. Um, it's, it looks like it's being done by a computer. And this right here was another piece that I thought, see, this is what it looks like just from NASA. Let me add that little little piece. Now is really when we got into it, but just the color of this piece right here, it almost looks like they have different stones inlaid in something. Um, so for what it's worth, uh, this isn't a great anomaly thing, guys. This one is just one that pissed me off when I saw it and I said, look, this is exactly what's going on. It, it's I could see time and time again when we get these pictures and they're like that. This is a nice little circle anomaly right there. Let's, let's see what it looked like when it came from NASA. And it chops it up. I mean, it's definitely an oval. It's def whatever it is. You can see it there. It's pretty good, but... This, see how this comes? This looks like a little animal habitat. Let's like come in and come out around there. Um, so I'm still in the fence on what's going on on Mars now. Or there, there's animals up there. But when stuff gets blurred and manipulated this much, I have to think in my head, wow, something weird is going on. So, and Or I can take it the other way. And like I said, I'm not going to rule this out, that there's just something wrong with uh, the Curiosity mask cam. Even though the, the mask cam still brings back these amazingly crystal clear shots, Sometimes it just must have these uh, glitches. Over here, too, I forgot to mention, there's these two little balls that go in. And right as it gets interesting, you get another blur strip that comes down through there. And the blur strip ends right there. It doesn't keep going down through there. But uh, look at this thing right here. It's very, very, just, that's right from, you can see. This, like I said, you, once you add the, the sharpness to it, you can really see it where they've added it. They've This is right here. They've added them down here. The blur strip seems to have it. There's a one, two, look like there should have been three spheres coming right here. So I don't know, guys. Anyway, I've got a lot of videos to do. Just 
hundreds of emails have come in lately from the new thing. So there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm going to go up to New York City this weekend, uh, dropping Christina off. Like I said, I'm going to have a lot more time to get into the nuts and bolts of a lot of these videos because, uh, you know, we've had an exchange student here. You kind of did not, you want to entertain them, make sure they're having fun and stuff like that. Uh, she was here on the work study program. Uh, and I also didn't go over these little pieces right here. Look how there's always seems to be these like little what look like pipes that come off and go down. This looks like a perfect, uh, like a cylinder that goes into the ground. Here you've got more S-shaped things. But So now I'm having a little more time on my hands. I'm going to really bust into your emails, try and reply some more comments. I do want to do a comments video because I think it would just be hilarious. So much love to you guys. Have a good one. And uh, All right, NASA, if this is not you guys doing it, say the pictures are just coming back like this. Uh, you guys should be fired. <laughs> Even though curiosity should go, really, curiosity should be going for, you've planned the mission. I know you guys say you only planned it for so long, but honestly, with a nuclear-powered piece to it, it should be, you know, well-equipped to run for a long time. should have some of the best optics on it, which we here believe it does. Uh, look more and more, look at this piece right here is almost similar to these right here. And you get, once again, the blur and the blue. Blurring the blind. So, love you guys. Have fun. Hope you guys are having a good one. Peace.